Good afternoon, you're watching another episode of Phantom Flight 101. This week's episode brings me back to Calvert Vox where I'm here with the Mavic 3. I've been out here at Calvert Vox for the last couple of weeks with the Mavic 3, having a good time with it. You know, many people have been complaining about this drone. I know the drone's got a bad rap. It's, uh, you know, it came out without the uh, intelligent flight features on it. And um, a lot of guys have been complaining about the price. You know, I'm, I'm kind of one of those guys too that complained about the fact that, you know, maybe the, you know, we shouldn't have accepted that from DJI, but uh, I've been having a little bit of fun with the camera, you know, just playing around with it and flying around out here over the creek, out here at Coney Island Creek, out to uh, Coney Island and back over the yellow sub out there. And one of the features that I've been playing around with a lot is the, uh, the zoom feature. You know, a lot of guys didn't like the zoom, fe the zoom feature, <laughs> excuse me, the zoom feature on this because um, they were saying that the uh, small size sensor and a lot of guys complained about the image quality. But I don't know, I found that it was pretty decent for, you know, what it is. And maybe, I, like I said, I wish that the, uh, the zoom was on the uh, four-third sensor, but the zoom is on the, uh, on the smaller sensor, the half-inch sensor, but uh, it is what it is. And like I said, I've been playing around with it a little bit out here at Calvert Vox Park, having a little bit of fun with it, flying around out here on the creek. You know, it's a low tide today, but I'm about to put the bird up and get some shots. Hope you enjoy the flight. Okay, now that I have everything set up, I'm about to take off with the Mavic 3, fly out over Coney Island Creek. And because of the yellow submarine and all the other stuff that people have brought in here and just left, makes for some uh, good stuff to zoom in on. So without wasting any more time, let me do a screen recording and I will start my motors. My home points locked in and we're taking off. We're going to let her hover a little bit here. And we're recording. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but right here, there we go. What do we have here? Tip the camera down a little bit. We got some stuff here. Some old, uh, like an old boat or something that uh, they left here. Now, this zoom, there we go. We zoom right in. Let's see. We we'll tip the camera down. You see, now here we are. We're like two times here zoomed in. Now, we're not that far away, but um, it's to show you how much and how well the zoom works, you still got good clarity on the objects that you're uh, zooming in on. Now, out here, I don't know if you can actually see it, but I'm not there yet, and I'm going to go fly over to it and check it out, which is, happens to be the yellow submarine that everyone speaks about. So I'm going to fly over there and let you see it for yourself. Now, we've had a meetup over here <coughs> for those guys, and one of the biggest things that everyone loved about coming here was that yellow submarine. And I don't know if you can see it there, but that's her right ahead there, straight ahead, out in front of me. That's the yellow submarine that everybody wants to see. There she goes. Uh, that's her. Good old yellow submarine. What I believe the name of that is, what, the Quester 1? Yeah, she was abandoned out there a long time ago. So now, 
we focus we focus on the yellow sub and there she is now like I said we can pull straight back so let's zoom in like I said zoom in zoom out there we go zoom in and it'll zoom out see I've been playing around with this zoom feature and like I said you can still get pretty good clarity in some of your shots with this thing it's not it's not as bad as everyone makes it out to like makes it out to be so like I said I've been having a good time playing around with it and one of the things that I that I like to do is that uh, you can get right up on the subject and once you're focused on it, you can zoom in as you pull back from the subject. Now, let me set this up better than this. There she goes. There's a few birds around there hanging out. I hope they don't do anything stupid. <laughs> but this, yeah, I like playing around with the zoom. Look at how, I said, I'm pulling real close on it. Pulling real close with it, real tight, real tight. There we go. See how the image quality, I mean, you do lose a little something, but not as much as you think you do. It's still usable in many, in many occasions. I don't know. What do you think? Feel free to leave your comments down in the description. You know, but you know, like I said, I I happen to enjoy playing around with it. You know, like here we go. I'm focused on the uh, submarine now, and let's. Zoom in. Now let me go up above the uh I'm gonna fly out and go up above it. Set my camera back up. No matter of fact. Let's fly out here. Let's see. Uh, now, if we were to tip our camera straight down, there we go. Let's zoom in on it from up above. Let's see what happens. We zoom in. We zoom in. Oh, nice. Nice. Zooming in. Look at the quality of the shot there. Not bad, not bad. It could be better, but it is what it is. Now, I'm up about 81 feet. I'm going to drop down a little bit. Drop down a little bit. Okay. Now, I'm down to about 40 feet. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to try one little thing here. As I raise up, I raise up, and I well, it doesn't work as well as I thought it would. I drop down a little bit. Drop down, drop down. You know, it didn't uh, actually turn out the way I expected it to. But, uh, like I said, this zoom quality is not bad at all for what you have here in a zoom feature. It could be worse. And I'm quite sure that there's no one that would argue with that, that it could be worse. Tip my 
my camera back up and let's get out of this zoom feature <laughs> yeah, let's zoom back out let's uh let's go see what's going on over at uh good old kaiser park which is right across the creek Now, Kaiser Park has always had this uh, little pier here, but I notice now that they put in a ferry boat stop here. Now, I'm right up over the edge of the park, and there's some apartment buildings in the foreground there on the other side. I'm going to zoom in and see what's happening. Slowly zoom in, see what we can see on the rooftops of the buildings. Oh, way into the buildings, way over there now. For those of you who don't think that this zoom is worth anything, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I guess if you need superior quality, then maybe the zoom has a lot left to be desired. But for the average guy that's out, he's shooting, looking to have a good time with his drone, just the average hobbyist, I think the zoom quality on this is pretty good. Not to mention that the, the, the battery life on this drone is crazy. So you could be out here zooming in on a lot of zooming in. <laughs> He got a got a lot to, he got a lot of time to be out here zooming in. You know what's one thing that I'd like to try? Let me go up here on the end over here, go up to about 200 feet. What I want to see is if I turn towards the parachute drop in Coney Island, how well can I zoom in on that? Is it possible? Is it possible? Is it possible? That's possible. Let's turn this way a little bit. Okay. Oh, wow, we zoomed right in on that parachute drop at Coney Island. Look at that. Nice. Let's get the top of it in our shot. Now I think we can zoom in even more. So I'm up here at, like I said, 205, 205 feet. Let me zoom back out so you can see exactly how far away I am from this parachute drop. That's right, I'm out over Coney Island Creek, right near the edge of the park by the school. Now, for those of you who know me, Whenever I'm out flying, I don't care. It could be 32 degrees or 82 degrees. I'm going to perspire. I'm going to sweat. So that's just me. It is what it is. <laughs> I can't help it. You know, uh, I'm dropping back down to about 150 feet. And I'm going to fly back over the creek towards the garbage in the road there the wreckage, and when I get there, what I'd like to do when I get there is that, and I'm not going to focus in on the submarine again for you, if you can see out there in the uh, foreground, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there happens to be the Verrazano Bridge, and uh, See, you can see it. I know you see it right out there in the, in the, in the, in the back there, way out there. What I want to do is see how far, see if this zoom can zoom in on it and what I can actually capture. So let's zoom in here on the Verrazano. Turn the camera a little bit. Zoom in. Zoom in. There's a boat coming underneath the Verrazano now. Wow, and that's me zoomed in 
on the Verrazano. 28 times. Look at that. I mean, it's not the greatest image in the world, but you can still see something. Now, I think it starts to break up somewhere where it's like it's like 12 times, 10 times. But I, look, well, I'm looking at the thing here. See I, it, the changes? I don't know if you can see it in the screen because I'm you're looking at the screenshot of it. But um, that's, that's the zoom feature on it. Look how far back I am. You know, that's how far back I am zoomed in. Now, in relations to where I'm standing, I'm directly in front of the, I'm directly in front of the camera right now. And I can actually zoom in on where I'm at. So let me do that. I don't know if you will be able to see me or not, but I'm going to zoom in. And that right, that guy right there that you see, that is where I am standing. Now you can see, I don't know if you see me or not, but I'll put my hand up and I will wave. So if you can see my hand up, waving, <laughs> that's me. I don't know if you see me or not, but that's me. The other guy in the gray, that's novice quads, Lawrence. Now let me zoom in a little bit more. Now, can you see me waving? That's where I'm at in relations to the drone. So let me zoom back out. Zoom back out. Zoom back out. And let me bring her in. Bring her in home for a landing. Well, that's where I was. You know, if you saw me on the camera, I'm going to come right back in here. I'm coming in. Coming back into my home point. I'm almost to the home point now. I'll descend a little bit. So am I. All right, what's your altitude? I'm right here. Altitude? 142. Okay. I'm right here, coming in. I see you. I'm looking right at you. Okay. I want to see if it'll let me land her on the table. You remember the nonsense that we went through the other day? You, you know what? I'm going to land it on the ground. Go ahead, land. Okay. So now, coming in, I'm going to land her, put her down, drop her down. Dropping her down. Well, that was my time here playing around with the zoom feature. I mean, I hope you, you know, I really hope you enjoyed, you know, me <laughs> showing you how I, Sometimes I, well, like how I come out here and play around with my drone and learn some of the different features on it. That was just me showing you, you know, one of my flights that I come out here, like I said, and play around with the drone and see what she can and cannot do. And I, I hope you, I really hope you enjoyed it. You know, um, I'll be back with a couple more videos for you on this uh, Mavic 3. Like I said, please feel free to leave your, you know, comments in the descriptions. Check out the descriptions below. And like I said, also, make sure you feel free to leave your comments below. And I'll see you next time on Phantom Flight 101.
Thank <laughs> you.